Today's review is of the Samson Go mic. Now the Samson Go mic is an extremely portable condenser microphone that's USB powered. The Go mic is really small and just to show you how small it is, I'm going to compare it to a regular sized pen and when I put the pen down right next to it, you can actually tell how small the mic is. And the Go mic's size makes it ideal for people who are always traveling and need a very portable yet high quality recording microphone that is USB powered. Let's take a closer look at the Go mic. On the left hand side of the Go mic, you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack so that you can monitor what you're recording as you record it. You also have a mini USB port so you can connect the microphone to a Mac or PC. On the front of the microphone is your main recording surface and a small LED which we'll get to in a minute. On the left hand side of the microphone, you'll see a little switch that lets you switch between cardioid, minus 10 dB cardioid, and omnidirectional mode. And behind the microphone, you'll find its second recording surface, which you'll need when recording in the omnidirectional mode. The Go mic's base is also heavy enough to ensure that the mic doesn't topple over when you're recording with it. The mic's base also has a threaded hole at the bottom so you can mount the mic to a mic stand. However, one thing to note though is that this is a 3 8 inch hole and most mic stands come with a 5 8 inch thread. So you'll need a 3 8 inch to 5 8 inch adapter to mount this microphone to a regular mic stand. The Go mic's head also swivels to give you a lot of flexibility in terms of recording positions. The Go Mic's base also has a neat little clip that allows you to clip the Go Mic to a laptop screen or a thin enough desktop screen. Now this is ideal for if you don't want to use a mic stand or if you don't have enough space on your desk. So what you get when you buy the Go Mic is the regular USB to mini USB cable, the microphone itself, a hard carrying case for just the microphone so you won't be able to fit the cable in there. You also get a wire clip and a 3 8 inch nut so you can mount the Go mic to a mic stand. Now the Samsung Go mic is pretty much plug and play with either Mac or PC. There are no drivers to install and the user manual makes it very easy to follow along. Now to connect the microphone to your computer, all you need to do is connect the mini USB end of the provided cable to the microphone and the other end goes into your computer. And when you do that, you'll see that a green LED indicator lights up and this indicates that the microphone is ready to record. The LED indicator on the Go mic isn't a plain old power indicator. It also turns red when your sound source peaks. For example, if you're too close to the microphone or if your sound source is too loud. Now this is a nifty little feature that helps you set the right distance between your sound source and the microphone. We also recommend that you use a recording software such as Audacity, which is free, or GarageBand, which is included with most Apple devices, and this will make your recording and post-processing much easier. Now I'm going to read you a paragraph from Fantastic Mr. Fox, just so you can hear the recording quality on the Samsung Go mic. Now the Go mic is currently in the omnidirectional mode, which means it can pick up sound from all around the mic. And the mic is about 10 to 12 inches away from me. So here it goes. On a hill above the valley, there was a wood. In the wood, there was a huge tree. Under the tree, there was a hole. In the hole, they lived Mr. Fox and Mrs. Fox and their four small foxes. Every evening, as soon as it got dark, Mr. Fox would say to Mrs. Fox, Well, my darling, what shall it be this time? Now the Go mic is set to the cardioid mode, which means it'll only pick up sound from right in front of it. So here it goes. On a hill above the valley, there was a wood. In the wood, there was a huge tree. Under the tree, there was a hole. In the hole, there lived Mr. Fox and Mrs. Fox, and their four small foxes. Every evening, as soon as it got dark, Mr. Fox would say to Mrs. Fox, Well, my darling, what shall it be this time? And finally, here's the Samsung Go mic recording in the minus 10 dB cardioid mode. 
Now what this means is that the microphone is still in the cardioid mode but it has far less gain so there's much less background noise and the sound is much clearer. So here it goes. On a hill above the valley there was a wood. In the wood there was a huge tree. Under the tree there was a hole. In the hole there lived Mr. Fox and Mrs. Fox and their four small foxes. Every evening as soon as it got dark Mr. Fox would say to Mrs. Fox, Well, my darling, what shall it be this time? So as you could probably tell, the minus 10 dB cardioid setting seems to work the best for single person podcasts, interviews, or lectures. However, if you'd like to record multiple voices, vocals, or instruments, the omnidirectional mode is also pretty good. If you're looking for an extremely portable microphone, that is USB powered and records high quality sound, the Samsung Go Mic is undoubtedly the best option on the market. The Go Mic packs lots of very well thought out features, produces excellent quality sound, and does all this at an extremely reasonable price point. If you found this review useful, please subscribe to our channel on YouTube. You can also find the link to this product in the description section below. And thank you very much for watching.